Dixon from Call to Action. This is Michael Silverman from Greenpeace, and we are live at NTC in San Francisco. So, so you work with Greenpeace. Uh, you yeah. started what, about a year ago, was it? About six months ago. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't don't hold me on numbers. Yeah. But, uh, so you came in as part of the mobilization lab. What what is that? Yeah. So it seems like the mobile unit that like got ET. <laughs> that would be more interesting potentially. That uh, would be. Yeah. Are there any plans for that? Uh, extra, we're focusing on planet Earth to start, and then okay. we're gonna probably move out and well, look you know, at other, the rest of the system. But <laughs> we got a lot, of, we got a lot of trouble here that we got to deal with. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, so the digital mobilization lab started. Uh, it was a concept that did start about a year ago. The global organization said we need to stay on the cutting edge of digital campaigning and mobilization. So the art and science of how we engage individuals and supporters anywhere in, in our mission and our campaigns. Where do you think the greatest opportunities um, lie currently? I think it's, the, the greatest opportunities are in kind of the, the campaign innovation. So basically, you know, we have the opportunity to rethink when we start imagining that there are more people in, on our staff than just the people in our office, that, that our staff or our teams when we're thinking about building a campaign, actually include, you know, in our case, 17 million supporters around the world that we're connected to, then I think there's uh, more room for thinking differently, creatively, building smarter campaigns, because we have the brains and insights of more people than we would if we just built that campaign with a handful of us in a room. So, I mean, this is a relatively new project. So, um, what does a win look like, you know? If this is what you really want it to be in five years, describe to me what that looks like. Yeah, I mean, for, in five years, if we're really successful and we can go home and you know close shop for the mobilization lab, it will be uh, a different style of campaigning for Greenpeace that you'll probably see. We'll see uh, campaigns that are are, are way more people powered. Um, by which I mean, you know, from inception to the planning and thinking of a campaign to uh, the execution of it. So you know, who who's leading? Uh, you know, in, in many cases, you'll probably see. Greenpeace more and more cele celebrating the victories, you know, as we do now, but even in a more dramatic way, the, uh, the victories of activists and supporters that have really driven and powered the entire campaign with the support of some Greenpeace staff and resources along the way. So um, and Greenpeace USA has done a number of uh, campaigns in a box. For example, they ask volunteers regularly to, you know, or mo their most active volunteers to download a toolkit and uh, take certain action, in some cases uh, sending, there was a very successful effort to get Obama to actually uh, not just save the whales, but basically it was a whales effort um, to ensure some protections for the whales at an international meeting and uh, supporters um, created all kinds of these physical whale uh, artwork things that were able to kind of break through more than say a regular petition. Um, and you know the the I think the recipe for success on a on a downloadable toolkit um, is or a campaign in a box is to be very clear about the theory of change, what this campaign is doing, and to really trust the supporter with the vision for what the campaign is all about and how we're going to win it, and then give enough leeway and space for a, a individual or supporter or activist to to execute on it in their own creative way, and then you get all kinds of usually wonderful unanticipated results. And this is, you can give all kinds of ideas and suggestions for think people for things to think about, but um, this has been a cornerstone of what 350.org has done and other organizations who, who, set it, who, help, who spend time as an organization using their skills and experience and applying their political knowledge of a situation and then saying, here's what we know, here's how we think we can achieve this change. And then the floor is open for getting from A to B with some suggestions, with a toolkit, with ideas for, you know, in 350.org's example, events, physical events in key media markets with specific photo ops and things like that. All right, Michael, thank you so much for All taking right. the time. Thanks. Thanks, Dan. Now stop fun. watching this video and go mobilize. <laughs> Do something for Greenpeace. <laughs> <laughs>